Welcome to Top Grade, my name is Spencer Miller and today I am excited to share with you a selection of brand new Canadian picture books for the spring 2022 season. I have so many picture books to share with you, so let's get started. Our first selection is The Tunnel from Owl Kids Books. It's written by Sarah Howden and illustrated by Erica Rodriguez Medina. After something bad happens, a boy feels sad and gray, and to avoid talking about how he feels, he begins to dig a tunnel from his bedroom. But after some time digging, the quiet distance also gives him the space that he needs to see his family's love and start climbing his way back. This richly imagined metaphor explores healing after trauma or grief, while emphasizing the value of time, space, and distance as coping mechanisms. The simple storyline allows a heavy topic to become accessible to young readers. It encourages social emotional learning while readers can make connections between the events of the story and how we process our feelings. Sun in My Tummy from Pajama Press is written by Laura Aleri and illustrated by Andrea Blinick. While a mother helps a little girl prepare a home cooked breakfast, readers are taken on a journey to learn about how the sun helps seeds to grow into oats blueberry patches to grow berries, and green grass to build sweet sugars. We learn how the sun becomes a part of the grass, that becomes part of the cow, that gives us milk, and so that really, if you look deep enough at any living thing, you will find the sun. This book is an eloquent conversation about energy, the growth of plants, and the miraculous ways that the sun's light nourishes us all. It's great for teaching about health, nutrition, and wellness. Runs with Stars from Second Story Press is written by Darcy Whitecrow and Heather O'Connor with illustrations by Lenny Lachenko. The book is also available in a dual language format with Ojibwe translations from Kelvin Morrison. As they await the birth of a new foal, a man teaches his grandchild about the Ojibwe horses that used to roam the forests of northwestern Ontario. The horses once ran wild and free, but when grandfather was a boy, they almost disappeared. Now he is the caretaker of his own small herd, keeping the breed alive for future generations and teaching his grandchild about the loving bond between human and animals. This story explores how knowledge is passed on and shares our intergenerational responsibility to taking care of the land and the animals. And afterward shares more information about the history of the Ojibwe horses. The Gift of the Little People from Highwater Press is written by William Dumas and illustrated by Rian Brynjolfsson. William Dumas is a rocky Cree storyteller who has spent 25 years as an educator. His writing is known to celebrate the Cree language and culture. In The Gift of the Little People, he shares the story of a Hasu who must act in order to save his people from the spreading sickness. While almost everyone in this community has fallen sick, a Hasu is exhausted trying to take care of them. When one evening, one of the little people appears with the promise of medicine, the challenge, though, is that in order to get this medicine, Ahasu must journey from his home and sail his canoe straight through a cliff of solid bedrock. It's going to take great courage and bravery for Ahasu to overcome doubt, trust in the gift of the little people, and do what he needs to do to save his people. This illustrated short story for all ages shares a teaching about hope in the face of adversity. Our next selection is Abuelita and Me from Anik Press. It is written by Leonardo Carranza with pictures from Rafael Meani. In this poignant, empowering picture book debut, a girl and her beloved Abuelita lean on each other as they contend with racism while running errands in the city. Our young narrator loves spending time with her Abuelita, but she prefers spending time at home where they can cook together or paint their nails or really do anything to avoid going out to the grocery store or on the bus where people are always impatient with her abuelita. Um, sometimes they act suspicious of her or give her dirty looks. And sometimes they even yell at her to get out of the way or to just spit out what it is that she's trying to say. Um, and so our young narrator is scared and prefers not to leave the house until a moment of empowerment helps her see the strength she and her abuelita share when they face the world together. The warm, expressive illustrations by Rafael Mayani highlight the tenderness in Abuelita and the narrator's relationship. This book is an empathy builder that will help students recognize how racism hurts feelings and teach them how to respond with love and support to comfort those in need. Journey of the Midnight Sun from Orca Book Publishers is written by Shazia Afzal and illustrated by Leah Gar. 
This book tells the true story of the Midnight Sun Mosque. When a small but growing Muslim community in the Arctic needed space for their services, volunteers in Winnipeg raised funds to build and ship a mosque all the way to Inuvuk, one of Canada's most northern towns. The mosque traveled over 4,000 kilometers across poor weather, incomplete bridges, and narrow roads to arrive just in time to get on a barge headed up the Mackenzie River. The building was safely delivered and is now one of the most northern mosques in the world. This beautiful picture book reminds us that the collective dream of fostering a multicultural and tolerant Canada exists and that people of all backgrounds will come together to build bridges and overcome obstacles for the greater good of their neighbors. Picture books like this are the reason that I fell back in love with picture books as an adult. As I read this story, this fascinating story I've never heard before, it filled my heart with a little bit more wonder and love. Um, if it can do that for a 28 year old reader, I know it will do the same for the little readers in your classroom. Sangeet and the Missing Beat is a picture book from Rebel Mountain Press with words and pictures by Kieran Jack Cower. Sangeet loves making music and composing new songs. Her favorite instrument is the tabla, a famous percussion instrument from India. Um, but when piecing together a new song, Sangeet can't help but feel that something is missing. And so she approaches her daddy G or grandmother for help. This wonderful picture book shares lessons about music and perseverance while featuring uh, awesome little cultural details from Sikh culture in the images and the details of the story. Teacher resources available online include videos of young people playing the tabla, craft ideas to make your own mini tabla, and more ideas to integrate Sikh heritage into your classroom. Eyes the Bai from Greystone Kids presents the lyrics from the beloved folk song next to beautiful illustrations from Lauren Saloy. For kids who love to sing and dance, this vibrant picture book shares the lyrics from the classic folk song about community, culture, and the seaside. Maritime artist and children's writer Lauren Saloy honors the song in its birthplace of Newfoundland with rich, captivating illustrations of bobbing boats, leaping humpback whales, violin playing fish, dancing people, starry skies, and stormy seas. It's full of undeniable energy and joy. The spirited picture books will have kids singing and dancing and learning all about Newfoundland. It includes sheet music in the back so you can play along in music class and includes a fascinating history and explanation of all the distinctive and frankly kind of silly words and phrases that are in this folk song. Thanks again for watching. We love hearing from you and we hope that you'll comment below with any of the picture books that you're excited about bringing into your classroom this season. Please make sure to sign up to our newsletter at the link in our description in order to receive new top grade content directly into your inbox. And we also want to offer a big thank you to Ontario Creates for their continued support of the program.